Nice to see you once again. Nice to see you. All right, so this video that I want to make is, um, I want to send the message, the word of God that God gave to me to send to this pastor, Pastor Sunday at Delaja in Ukraine. So this is for a long time, God has been revealing things to me, showing me something about this pastor. But if I fail to do that, I will be the one that he will hold accountable, accountable for not saying or doing what he wants me to do. But before I will say what he said, I want to read his word. The, the warning he gave to me is going to Sunday, Deraja, the past Nigerian pastor in Ukraine. I'm going to give Matthew chapter 7 from verse 1. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck? And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye? But do not consider the plank in your own eyes. Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove this peg from your eye and look, and look, a plank is in your eye. Hypocrites, hypocrites, first remove the plank from your own eye. Remove the plank from your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the peg from your brother's eyes. So this is what I want to do. So God said that I should tell you that all that you are doing, that he is seeing it, he is hearing it. Say that you should first of all go back to your side, to your life. You should, you should check your life first. He says you should look into your life that you are not having his spirit. You are not having his spirit that though you are against the people that is using his name to be causing people damage, but he said, I should tell you to look into your life first. You should check the spirit inside of you. You should try to find out the spirit inside of you. You should check the spirit inside of, the spirit inside of you. And look into your own problem, your trouble, that into your own, into your own life, that you have a love to deal with than what you are doing. That he appreciates what you are doing, but he should, should forget those things that you are fighting or trying to to fight for him so that what you are what is coming upon these people you are talking you are talking about you are talking about will not come to you that is a painful thing that you you finish doing what you are doing and you will find yourself with them that's going to be a terrible something it's going to be a terrible thing a terrible thing because you are judging, I am judging. So what we are doing, judgment means ability to discern or to say this is right and this is wrong. This is all about this is what is called judgment. What I'm saying, I'm saying today. I'm not saying it because I want to say about Nigerian pastors, about American pastors, about preachers, or about any preacher in the world. I am saying it because I was commissioned by God. When he took me down to Nigeria, I spent 12 good years in Nigeria suffering. I cannot come back to Europe. Everywhere was blocked. All the embassies blocked. Any embassy, I tried to go and get visa. I get visa. Immediately I come inside, and they reject me. Until God used me to finish what I want to do in Nigeria for 12 years before the same land that I have I, 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 I have conflict with, that we are fighting, that we are know that he took he took me down to Nigeria saying to me that okay if you are that say you are powerful you are so powerful that what you, you did in a country that go and repeat it in your own country if you if you, if God if that if, you, if that your God gave a victory you can come back so immediately God accomplished his purpose the same land stretched their hand and I, I came back and everything today is okay I don't have any problem with them we are one working together. So he said to me, God said to me, that what you are doing, let it not be motivated. Let it not be motivated by jealousy. Let it not be motivated by envy. That what he judges, 
is the motive of anything we we do. Anything that we do is what he judges. Because you may be you may be fighting for the people of Nigeria for all this fake. All these things that they are facing in the of fake pastors, that he himself will also look into you. He will look into you to know your motive of fighting them. But to make things short, I am judging, and the God will judge me and you. Judge the motive of what I'm doing. Judge me if what I'm doing is for my own selfish interest, is for me to get subscribers, is for me to get uh, viewers. If it is the motive, I will I will be destroyed together by the same Most High, the Holy God. By, by the same Jesus Christ, the righteous one that we are fighting for. If my motive is I am trying to condemn any pastor or to say anything against them for my own selfish interest, for people to follow me, or for people, for, for, for people to say that I'm powerful, or for people to see that uh, I'm, I'm uh, to, to see me as a good person, you know, if I am doing this thing, my motive is to draw subscribers to myself or for, for people to come to my channel and I have millions of viewers and thousands of subscribers. If it is the motive, this, the, even the highest place in hellfire is waiting for me. If it is the motive. Likewise, you, this is what God said to tell you. If, is, if your motive of what you are doing is for you to gain subscribers or the motive of what you are doing is for you to, to, to have uh, viewers or for for us to you know, the, the motive is to make money from what we are doing. God say you are worse to me and do that if it's motive that you are worse than those pastors. This is what I should actually tell you. That we should first of all that you should look into your life. You should remove the plank in your own eyes, in your own eyes before looking to looking for a brother to remove a speck from his own eyes. So this is what he said to me. He has been speaking to me about you. I've been, I've been seeing you in the realm of spirit. He has been bringing you to me. He has been showing me that I don't would like to rush to make a video. Because no, I really like you the way you are also speaking about this, speaking up all over what's going on in Nigeria. But God said to me, that is not how to uh, qualify somebody. You can't justify somebody by just speaking against what, uh, what uh, another person is doing. You have to know the motive that he is God searching the heart. And the mind to give to every man according to his works and according to the fruit of his doing. It's also you can see it in the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah. You can see it very clear how God judges. We can judge we judge things in the physical, but God comes in the spirit to come and know the motive of what we are doing. And I, if I, as I'm saying to you, if I did not say this, then God will not be happy with me. God will not be happy with me because He has been speaking to me, bringing you to me. I've been seeing you, you know. You know, he's, he's in the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 17, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse, verse 9. Say, the heart, the heart is deceitful. The heart is deceitful above all things. The heart is deceitful above all things and the desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? Only God. Only somebody with God's spirit, spirit that can look, can do this. God's spirit can see. You can know God. The spirit of God is the lamp. Is the like a, a satellite that you can that if you have it, you can see what is hidden in the inside and in the heart of man. If God wants to show you, that God is only only, only our God, the Holy God that sees the heart. Everything lies down in the heart of everybody. He said, "The heart is it for the heart." Exist for above all things and, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? I, the Lord, I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to his way, according to the fruit of his doings. God said to me, Tell Pastor Sunday Adelaja, let him not finish this thing and be with these pastors he's talking about about them and be in the same place with them because he will face the most fair place. He said to you, look into your life. He said right now, say the space out of you who is who is the spirit. Is it his spirit or another person, another another spirit? He said try that this is the answer you have to answer. 
that the spirit in you is it from him. Is it the spirit of God? Because if anybody did not have God's spirit, it is none of his. He said, yeah, you should look into your life. Look into your life. You should say, forget these pastors now. Forget. Say that it is a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing that you finish speaking all these things. Behold, finally, the devil tell you, yeah, have you finished? Come here. It's better for you to forget all these things and put your life in order. Put your life in order. Remove. God said the problem in your life enough for you to look into and put in order. Especially the number one thing he said that I should tell you that you should try to find out the spirit in you. You are not having the spirit. You are a sensual man. You speak from what you see and you can stumble in judgment. You can do the wrong thing that can drag you to the wrong place. So this is what he said that I should tell you. And I believe that this message will bring you to the knowledge of the truth, that this thing will open your eyes to know that God still want to put you, put your life in order. If you comply with him, if you if you humble yourself before him, and I believe things will change for good. But I only pray that you will, that this message will be a blessing to you. Simple. The word that you just hear is not my own word, it's what he said, sent me to tell you. And I've just done that all over the world. The first people that God is interested to fish out now is the pastors because they have caused a lot of damage to the whole universe. So you are not left outside of it. He said, you are also a preacher. I should also talk to you. He will judge me for what I'm saying, my motive of what I'm doing. If I'm talking about any pastor for my own selfish interest, God, the judgment comes upon me. If I'm doing it, with my own selfish interest, if I'm judging any man, or I'm saying, speaking evil of any man for my own selfish interest, for me to gain advantage, if I'm flattering anybody for me to gain advantage, if I am speaking lies in his name for, for, for me to gain subscribers, for me to gain viewers, it is the higher, for what I saw, for the revelation I saw, the first people that judgment of God is hitting is the pastors now. So it is a terrible thing for one, for one to fall into the hand of the living God. He's a consuming fire. So please, I am not on YouTube. I am not talking about any pastor. I am not talking about anybody because I want to gain subscribers or because I want to gain viewers or because I want to uh, make money. Some people come and say that I I uh, am trying to uh, make a make a name for myself. I want to become famous. That that's why I'm talking about this pastor. I want to that I want to draw attention to myself for what. Listen very careful. I am not seeking to be famous on my own. Jesus is already the world superstar, superhero. He's the world superhero. He's the superstar, he's super model. So nobody is like him. So if I have him, already I'm famous. Especially let me tell you, a tiny man like me, I drag the land where I live. I I I, I sue Germany, I drag Germany to the Supreme Court. So listen very carefully. Some of you that is saying that. I'm trying to draw attention to myself or to be to be known or to be famous. Just listen. I sue Germany for the righteous things I'm telling them. When I don't even have documents, I don't have documents, I don't even I don't even have political paper. I don't have even, I don't even have anything, I don't have passport. I don't have their stay, I don't have any I don't have anything as a document. I only move about move about in the land of Germany with the Bible. If you ask their police, they will tell you this. I go to anyone to go with the Bible. I travel to states to preach without staying without any document, only with the Bible. They will arrest me, they will check me, they will say they will say, they will say, they will say go home. I it makes me I it, in fact it makes it makes me to be to be known. The the police, the criminal section of you know where you know, the state where I live, they know me very, very well. They know they they, they, they knew they know me very, very well. If they caught me, they just said, them, Is it that, so, that young boy? So they say, Yes. They say, A line to go. I was preaching without documents in Germany. Later, when the time come, they said to me, Your God is powerful. We are sending you down to Nigeria. For that, when I want to come back, it was, it was not easy. It was a very big battle because of what they saw, because of what they see. So, do you know I 
sued them and dragged the case to the Supreme Court, to the highest court in Germany. I heaven, I first fall because my father, our God, is the chief judge of the Supreme Court of heaven. The case is already, is already, is already started in heaven. I also drag them to every authority where we all live. I drag them to Supreme Court. In that place, I won. So which favor or which famous are you, are you talking about that I'm seeking? I'm not seeking any, any fame or any greatness for myself. If Jesus is in my life, I'm, I'm already the world, the, the, the fact, the world greatest, the world famous. You are the, the fact, what's called, what's called fame? The fame is just having the highest spirit. And the spirit in some of you determines how famous you are going to be. I have the highest spirit. That's more than America, more than Europe, more than Africa, more than Asia, more than the whole world. I have the spirit of that righteous man, Jesus. This is, this is, the turning point in my life. I am not seeking for fame. For fame. fame is happening for me. Okay? Okay? So, here is very, very well for some of you. I drive, if Nigeria is a country, even Nigeria, I have, drive, I have dragged Nigeria to the Supreme Court in heaven a long time. I have registered their case a long time. You know, Nigeria, Nigeria is in the hand of God. I have taken Nigeria to the Supreme Court in heaven. And the case, you know, they are treating it every day. And they watch and say, Nigeria, Will never be the same again. The same way I drive Germany, the whole nation, the whole nation of Germany to heaven, to, to, to the Supreme Court, to the Supreme Court in heaven. I also drive them to the Supreme Court here in Germany, to the Supreme Court, the highest court. So you are talking about I'm speaking to the famous. I'm only I'm only famous in Christ Jesus because his spirit is the highest. I have the spirit that's above death. God bless you, very good as you hear this. And I want to, to amend, amend the ways Sunday at that time, as God has sent me to you. Because what you are doing is right, but what God is judging is the motive. God bless you.